My wife is Russian and no, I didn't buy her on RussianBrides.com. It's completely legit. Thank you very much. Anyway, in Russia, there's this great saying, trust, but verify. And I absolutely love this saying. It, how to explain it? Well, let me put it this way. A safe organization is an organization which doesn't blindly trust everyone. Now, I know that might be a bit provocative because a lot of people will say, well, you need trust in an organization. Part of a good culture is that people like each other, have good relationships, and they, they trust each other. And if you trust people, you're not going to micromanage them and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, agree with all of that. Yes. And yet trust should not be blind. It should not be naive either. A safe organization is an organization where people do not blindly trust one another. Let me put it this way, the hierarchy of controls. Eliminate the top, substitute, engineering controls. The hierarchy of controls acknowledges that we should not trust other people blindly because that's why it puts PPE and administrative procedures at the bottom. It acknowledges that people are flawed, they make mistakes, they forget things, they break the rules and so on. Part of our profession as safety professionals is not to blindly trust people. And so we try and engineer things out. We try and design hazards out because we know the people around us, including ourselves, can't be trusted to behave safely 100% of the time. We're not perfect. We're not gods. So it's trust, but verify. Yes, so we should indeed trust people. But if you were going to go work and put your hands in a machine and you turned it off, you wouldn't trust your colleagues to not turn it on, would you? You would isolate it and then lock it out and put a tag on it so no one turned it back on yeah so we might trust our colleagues but we don't trust them naively blindly to the point where we could get hurt so yeah trust but verify what does this mean well it means train people give them the benefit of the doubt give them the information that they need to make good decisions but also acknowledge that they won't always make good decisions and sometimes they'll they'll just make mistakes and so we verify we put in checks and balances. What does that mean? Supervision, inspections, behavioral safety observations. Yeah, and when we send emails and we don't get an answer back or any kind of acknowledgement, well, we check that people have understood. They check that they got the email. We go to their desk. We verify. Did you get my email on that thing, on that risk assessment, that policy? Oh yeah, you did, brilliant, right. What do you think? Yeah, we, we, we don't just blindly send emails out trusting that the person reads them, do we? No, we verify afterwards. So yeah, trust is important, but not naivety.